Yo, bro, come down for a second, right? Hang on. So this is, okay, hold on. Peter, but it's not Peter. So Peter's our attendance TA, right? One of our attendance TAs. So say your name again, bro. You. Okay, hang on, man. Say your first name again. Zhou Yu. Zhe. Yeah, it's like, it's not from the throat, it's from the, from your mouth. Right? From the mouth, yeah, okay. Zhe, like your tongue, like uh, on the tip, on top. On the, Zhe, 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 Oh, dude, yeah. Zhe, 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 yeah, pretty close. Okay, yeah. all right, cool, man. So he comes to my office, I'm like, dude, say your name a hundred times, I'm just like, it is just really, really, really difficult. Not to remember, to say it right, everyone just calls you Zhe, Yu, right? So, and then you say Peter, Peter, yeah. Peter to make it easier, right? As most East Asian students, especially Chinese students, right. yeah. all come up with an Americanized name. How did you pick Peter, by the way? Actually, um, I picked Peter uh, when I was like eight years old. I came to Texas for American like elementary school. And then like I saw in like a Chinese textbook, just like the most common name, like in an like, English textbook, it's like Peter. So it's like, okay, this is it, Peter. <laughs> Peter. So it really is only a matter of time and mostly wasting his time to just sit down with him and just for about an hour just learning to pronounce his name. Man. And I, it would take me, okay, maybe it would take me a half hour. I could get it, right? And I could say it. And yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. And, may, and I still would say it with an accent. With, yeah, I still wouldn't say it right. Right. Okay? Why, is, why does this matter? It's only a matter of time. To, I don't do that, but I do. But I'm, real, but I'm comfortable with it. Most of us are not comfortable with it. If, I, if you met him, unless you were at a party and you already had a couple beers, if you were in a class and you were in a group and you were doing a group project with him or whatever the case was, he was another employee somewhere you're working, most of us would not be comfortable with this. Why do I know that? Because we study it. It's part of it. This is my job. So I'm like, I'm at least comfortable. I might not get it right. right. And I don't, I'm actually not really good with D dialects and things, okay? So here's the thing. If we're not comfortable, it has implications. So if we're not willing to be in this discomfort zone of trying to be like, dude, say your name again. What is it? And not be, not be annoying about it, not make it funny, not make it whatever, right? It's just like those of us who have really complex names. Those of you who are from Eastern Europe or whatever, it's just like, you, you know, you got like a name that's 10 letters long or 12 letters long and there's one syllable in it you think or one vowel i mean pardon me one vowel 10 letters 12 letters one vowel it's like it's in, um, it's not pronounceable but here's the thing man how is it when people do you like you're just used to people not pronouncing your name and so on no i usually go by peter so they don't, even, they don't even know my like real name yeah because i just present myself as peter okay yeah so let me tell you why this matters okay if yeah. we don't if I don't keep pushing, why do I push this issue? It doesn't matter to you. 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 It doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to many of us in here, but it matters to him. Here, take a look at this. This is a study, Harvard Business, Asian Americans, least likely group in the U.S. to be promoted to management. By far and away. So you, what, what's your major? It's um, uh, computer engineering. Computer engineering. So he's going to get a job. He's a smart dude. What's your GPA? Uh, like 3.4 is. 3.4? Okay. He's going to get a job. He's going to do fine. Computer engineering. Come on, man. He's going to get a job. But he's going to be much less likely to be promoted to management than another person in his firm who's not By Asian. The, the number one reason you don't get promoted? Culture, race. Culture, race, the discomfort of difference. Right. Including pronouncing a name. So you got to go by Peter, but really what you need to do is go back and change your name to Peter Zhao. Zhu. How do we? Zhao. Zhao. Yep. Change it. Because what we know is that people encounter you and there's like, oh, hang on, what is this and what is that? And people don't want to be in that discomfort. They don't want to sit there. They don't want to be engaged. They don't want to feel that, that, you know, the awkwardness. You know the awkwardness, right? You hear me. You watch me up here and I'm like, dude, okay, how do you pronounce your name? Like, what is it? Okay, we're in this again. This is really awkward. This is, you don't, no one wants to be in the awkwardness. So you know what you do? You go on and you pick people just like you. 
We pick people just like we are. And we might think, no, man, we, I don't operate that way because we're going to pick, if you're good at management, we're going to elevate you to management because that's what we do. No, that's not what we do. It's not what we do. And pronunciation of names is right at the top of why East Asians don't get promoted to management. Yeah, actually, I know a lot of people like, um, so you can, like when you are a foreigner and you get like your um, citizenship, you get to change your name, like you decide what your name is on like the official, like, you know, the like, green card or whatever passport it is. And a lot of like the Asians, like Asian Americans, they would change their name from like the Chinese name to like an actual American name. So they would ditch their like original name. Yeah. yeah. So it, so it just moves things along in a different kind right. of way. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And so like here, here's another thing, right? We do this thing. We do the, it's very simple, right? Like you, everyone understands him, right? You, when he's talking, everyone got it. Anyone have a hard time understanding him? They recorded a voice. For about a minute, just an average, like say my voice, middle America voice. Then they showed, a fo- they put headphones on people and they said, listen to this voice and tell us how much you understand. And we're going to show you a photo of the person who is speaking. It's the same voice. And for half the people, they showed a photo, let's say, of Peter. For the other half of the people, they showed either a, a white face or a black face. Okay. But not Asian. The people who saw Peter's face suddenly couldn't hear. Like, I don't know. There's like an act. I don't know. I'm not fully understanding him. There's something going on. Like, da, da, da. Right? It's the same voice. The other half of the people are seeing, let's say, a white face or a black face, whatever. And they're like, oh, yeah, no, I understand this person. Great. The same voice, the same recording, but with his face those people suddenly had a hard time hearing. Oh, there's an accent. I don't really get it. You see why it matters? It matters because if, if he's, if somehow you're being seen as you, we can't hear you, we can understand you, what's it going to mean for our clients? You're going to be in management. We'll put you in the back as a, as a, like a, we'll put you behind a computer. We're all right, good, yeah. right? Technology is really good, but we're not going to put you out front. What, are we going to sing you out on a business call? set up to represent our company. Like, we don't do that. You'll go and you'll be, have this big presentation and people will be sitting in a room and they won't understand you. Even though he speaks perfect, his English is perfect. So when we're not talking about these issues, when we're not like really feeling the discomfort of this stuff, what it does is it elevates some people and it puts other people down. You see that, right? And so like, well, why is it important? Because Asian Americans are being discriminated, not Asians, not East Asians, Asian Americans are being discriminated against, even when they speak perfect and fluent English. Still, ah, we can't hear you, we can't understand. This, this is serious. This is about his livelihood. So when I'm, in a, when I'm doing stuff in class, and then I hear, I'm, I'm watching, you know, let's say a group or something, and I'm like, you know, and... and People in the majority, the majority, who are the ones who are going to get elevated when, when Peter doesn't get promoted to management, the very people who are going to get promoted to elevated then are turning around and saying, I'm not comfortable. I don't like how you're pushing these issues. I don't like how you're talking about this stuff. I feel uncomfortable. What it means is like, well, then you don't have to talk about it, and then you just stay elevated, and then he gets to be in this other position. How, how is it? Do you think about this a lot? Like, do, you, do you talk about this in the community, about, not, about being discriminated against and so on, by the way? Well, like, yeah, like in terms of like um, job thinking and stuff, definitely I feel like have a lower advantage. Like, in terms of like tech people, like I feel it's more like, because there's so many Asians, more Asians in the, in the field already, so they won't like take more. Like no. Asian males have like a lot of people, a lot of like population in the tech field already. So they will like, companies like want like balance, balance right? Yeah. So sometimes they will like. You would think they would want yeah. the balance, but yeah, yeah, it's yeah. fine. We'll just keep putting you all in the, in the tech behind the computers. Right, maybe. So you don't be the face of a company or the face of an organization. Just crazy. Dude. All right. Thanks, man.